I put a fair amount of effort into the smooth autoresponders module, which is a way to be able to automatically respond to inbound SMS or WhatsApp messages. It works, but the feedback is that it is so complicated, and to be honest, I find, <laughs> find it pretty complicated myself, just because the user interface is pretty confusing. Eventually, I'll put a widget in front of it to make it easier. But in the meantime, I thought there's probably a, an easier way just using standard workflow rules. The thing that was missing in the past was the ability to detect what the previous outbound message was, because often when you're sending an autoresponder, you're checking what the inbound message is, but you also need to make sure that the previous outbound mass message matches what you expect. Because it might be that you want to send a certain booking link if someone replies with book now, if you've sent them a message about a music festival versus another message which is about a going to the cinemas. So what we can do now, because I've added in the previous outbound message as a field in the Smooth Messages module, you can actually do almost everything that you could do previously with the Smooth Autoresponders module. But it's with the user interface that you're probably far more familiar with, which is the standard workflow area. So what we can do, we can set up a, a workflow rule triggered by the creation of a smooth message. For the conditions, you'll have message type starts with in. That is to make sure that it's an inbound message. Then you check that the inbound message matches what you expect. For example, here I've either got the message contains book now or the message is exactly book. And then finally, making sure that the last outbound message that we sent to that contact contains reply book now to book a consultation. If all of that is true, then we can send an SMS back. And we use the standard, the standard process for doing a workflow SMS where we put in the owner being the same as the, the owner of the, the last inbound message. We try and link it to either a, a contact lead or a deal, depending on what it's going to, if the inbound message was linked to any of those fields, then they will be copied over. And then for the two number, because the from number of an inbound message is the other person's number, we are, we're able to basically flip around the to and the from and then finally in the message, you put in the message that you want to send. All of that works pretty well and hopefully it's easier to understand than it would be if it were done a different way. So we can see this is the testing I was doing before that I sent it an outbound message. I Jeremy reply book now to book a consultation. I sent book now from my phone. And I, if we refresh, we'll be able to see the autoresponder message. And indeed, if we look at what I received in my phone, the only thing I stuffed up here is it sent it from a different phone number. But I fixed that in the latest version. So let's test it now. We'll be able to see that if I just reply book now, it won't do anything because the previous outbound message was actually is to look to book an appointment. So we, nothing will happen as a result of that message, but if I send another outbound message saying, I, I can't make it exactly the same, but I'll make it, hi, cheers. And then if I reply with book, should get an auto response back from the same number. Give it a few seconds. You can probably even see if we go to the smooth messages module, we'll be able to see the new message that was created. And it was, I forgot, I needed to change it so it wouldn't get blocked by the duplicate checker. Let me change that. I'll make it short thing instead of certainly. 
that's one thing to bear in mind when you're testing autoresponders, that if you're sending to your own number, then you might need to change the message each time, otherwise it will get blocked by the, the duplicate checker. So I'll just send book again. Now see, the sure thing message is there, and there's the message. So I reckon that works pretty well. I, I think most people are going to find this approach relatively easy to use. The only thing that is a little bit annoying is that if you did have a lot of potential trigger messages, you're going to have to, in here, you're going to have to have a lot of ors in there. So it, it might be, might delete that one, change that to or, and then we could say or message contains send me a booking link or message contains yes please or we can say yes. And then the other thing you want to do is modify the, the pattern here because we basically want to do condition one and two or three or four or five. And then we also need to have previous outbound. Something like that. The good thing is that once you've done it once, you can then duplicate the workflow and a lot of this you won't have to change, or you would just change the triggers, the previous outbound message, and then the message that you would send back.